to inspect the wheels and brake system and perform a tire rotation on your Ranger 1000, follow these steps. Take a close look at each tire. Verify there is sufficient tread depth. Tires should be replaced once they reach 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters of tread depth. Inspect for damage that may compromise the integrity of the tire. Next, inspect the tire pressure and verify it is set to specification. Reference the owner's manual or tire pressure label on your vehicle for the correct specification. Lastly, take a close look at how the tires are wearing. If there is irregular wear, it may be time for a rotation. To remove the tires, start by loosening the lug nuts before the vehicle is off the ground, but do not remove. Safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Remove the lug nuts and set aside. Then, remove the wheels and set aside. Now is a great time to look at the brake system. Start at the front of the vehicle on the driver's side and inspect the fluid level and condition in the master cylinder. Ensure the level is between the min and max marks. Add fluid as needed. Caution, after opening a bottle of brake fluid, always discard any unused portion. Brake fluid rapidly absorbs moisture from the air, which causes the boiling temperature to drop. This can lead to early brake fade and the possibility of an accident or serious injury. Look at the banjo bolts on the inside of the master cylinder for leaks. Follow the lines all the way to both front calipers looking for any leaks, kinks, or damage. Also ensure the brake line retainers are properly secured. Inspect the connections at the front brake calipers for leaks. Next, follow the brake lines back to the rear of the vehicle checking for leaks, kinks, and damage. Inspect the connections at the junction block in the driver's rear wheel well. Follow the brake line to the rear brake calipers looking for leaks, kinks, and damage. Also ensure the brake line retainers are properly secured. Inspect the rear brake calipers and connections for leaks. If inspection reveals any concerns, do not attempt to drive the vehicle. See your authorized Polaris service center. Next, take a look at the brake pads and rotors. Caution, brake rotors can become extremely hot after operation. Allow the rotors to cool completely before performing maintenance to prevent the risk of burns. Check the brake pad thickness using a suitable tool. Be sure to check the thickness on the inside pads as well. Replace any pads that are worn beyond their minimum thickness. Next, use a brake rotor measuring tool to measure the thickness of the brake rotors. Replace the rotors if they are worn below their minimum thickness. Once the brake system inspection has been completed, the tires can be rotated and reinstalled. Rotate the wheels as needed based on wheel configuration. Caution, due to different configurations, some wheels may not be able to be rotated. Always pay attention to all markings and directional indicators on the tires. Install the wheels on the vehicle and hand tighten the lug nuts. Safely lower the vehicle until the tires begin to touch the ground. Reference your owner's manual for proper lowering techniques. Torque the lug nuts to specification in a crisscross pattern. Lower the vehicle completely. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.